Hi guys, this is Taylor and I'm here today to talk about how I organize and catalog my books. I was going back and forth on whether or not to make this video and whether anyone would find it useful or interesting, and then my wonderful friend also named Taylor asked if I had any tips on organizing bookshelves, so here we are. I honestly commend and kind of admire those who organize their bookshelves just based on aesthetics, whether it be by color or by size, because it often does end up looking a lot better than those just alphabetized. However, I'm a little bit neurotic about how my books are organized and whether or not they have an exact place on my shelves, so that doesn't work for me unfortunately. So I'm going to start with how my books are organized in a very general sense. First of all, I don't shelve books that haven't been read, so everything that is on my shelves has been read without exception. I have to keep myself in check. I've made a whole video about this which you can see here. So I don't have specific bookshelves for certain types of books, meaning that I don't have a fiction shelf over here and a nonfiction shelf over here. My organization functions as though all of my books were just in one big row that happens to be spread over several shelves. Does that make sense? Basically, whenever a book gets added, everything after that just gets shifted down one space. So the categories that my books get divided into are nonfiction, which starts up here and includes biography and memoir, and which goes down into fiction, also my record collection, but you gotta conserve space. So standalone fiction starts down here and continues back over here, comes down here and ends down here. Then I have my series, which comes down here, and continues back up here, and down there. And down here we have poetry, oversized fiction and nonfiction, and art slash photography books. And I actually do catalog all of my books, though I wouldn't really recommend this unless you really enjoy organizing things. I just use a Google Docs page and I use the old school outline method with the largest group being assigned a Roman numeral, the next an uppercase letter, then a number, a lowercase letter, and then going back into Roman numerals if you need to. So let's go into a little bit more detail about how I organize each of the larger categories, starting with nonfiction, A because it's first in my personal library, and B because it can definitely be the most confusing to organize. In basic terms, I essentially organize by subject, and if I have multiple books on the same subject, I'll go alphabetically by author's last name. What I really like about the outline system here is that if I want more subcategories, I can just go ahead and make them. For example, one section of my nonfiction books is called Places, which serves as the umbrella category for my books on Iceland, the Alps, and uh, books on like Greenland and Scandinavia will eventually be here. So it's very flexible and customizable. Towards the end of my nonfiction section, I do have a section of miscellaneous nonfiction, uh, for books whose subjects are kind of random, and that is just organized by author's last name. And at the tail end of my nonfiction section, I do have my biographies and memoirs, which is simply by the author's last name. Pretty simple. And back to me again. I didn't really think out this camera angle. The next section is standalone fiction, which is probably simplest of all. This is just alphabetical by author's last name, and when you have multiple books by the same author, alphabetical by title. When you have numbers in a title, I like to put them first. So for example, I have 1984 before Animal Farm. Next we have the series, which I do separate out from my standalone fiction, because it's just easier for me that way. They start down on this bookshelf and come up here. And again, very simply, this is just alphabetical by author's last name, with the series going chronologically 1, 2, 3, 4. If you had multiple series by the same author, you would just go alphabetically by author's last name, and then alphabetically by whatever the series is called. And now we're on the floor. The last three sections are poetry, which is just alphabetical by poet, oversized fiction and nonfiction, which follows the same rules as the regular sized fiction and nonfiction, but they're larger, so I like to keep them closer to the ground, because these shelves are not the best. And art and photography books, which are just alphabetical by the artist. Yay! So lastly, I just want to say that I'm just sharing the way that book organization works for me and that it might not work for you in your library. You could separate out your genres so your high fantasy doesn't coexist with your contemporary. It's all up to you. And there are tons of ideas online. Google is your friend. So that's it for now. Let me know if this made sense. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below. Maybe now you have a better idea as to why I'm a library page. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye!